Hey everyone, we're going to look at number 20 in section 4.5 and this uh, little lengthy problem here uh, in some ways to explain, but let's see if we can tackle it. We're going to evaluate the limit uh, as x goes to infinity of x divided by x plus 10 all raised to the x power. Okay, um, now this section is covering L'Hopital's rule and so uh, remember L'Hopital's rule form has uh, works for limits of the form zero over zero or infinity over infinity. Okay, so we want to um, see what's the form of this limit. Well, obviously, as x goes to infinity, the exponent here, x, is going to infinity. What about the, the base? What's the limit as x goes to infinity? What's the limit as x goes to infinity of x divided by x plus 10? Well, some of you remember when we did limits at infinity, some of you can look at this and tell me right now the limit is 1. And that's great. I hope you can, because the degree of the top is one, the degree of the bottom is one. And so the limit is just the ratio of those leading term coefficients. It's basically for large values of x, just like x divided by x, which is one. This limit is one. If you don't uh, recall that, you could think, hey, it's infinity over infinity form, right? It's infinity over infinity form. So that is L'Hopital rule, right? And if I use L'Hopital's rule, the derivative of x is one. And the derivative of x plus 10 is 1. And I get the limit as x approaches infinity of 1, which is indeed 1. OK. But I hope most of you will be able to just immediately deduce that that limit is 1. So the base is going to 1. The exponent is going to infinity. And so what we have here is an indeterminate form. Um, it's indeterminate because the base is approaching 1. 1 to any power is 1. So the base is kind of wanting to pull that, push that limit to 1. However, the base for any value of x, notice like if x is equal to 100, I get 100 over 110. Or if x is equal to 1,000, I get 1,000 over 1,010. So it's always a little bit less than 1, a little bit less than 1. But the exponent is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. If you take a number less than 1 to a bigger and bigger power, then that's getting closer and closer to 0. So the base is trying to make this expression go to 1, the exponent is trying to make it go to zero. The limit could be one, it could be zero, it could be something in between. All right, so let's see if we can figure out what that limit actually is. Um, this is not L'Hopital rule form. As we said, L'Hopital rule form is zero over zero or infinity over infinity, which is not either of the, the forms that we have here. Okay, uh, is, is this one's not either one of these. So what do we do? Well, the only way to get this expression to be something like this is by using logarithms. And so this is what we have to do with these exponential type expressions. The way I like to do it, let y be this limit. Okay, We can take the natural log of both sides. So the natural log of y, the limit we're looking for, is the natural log of this limit. And then this natural log can be sort of pushed inside the limit. And that's because the natural log function is continuous on its domain. And we can do that for continuous functions. We can push the limit inside the function. And um, so what then happens to this expression? The natural log of this base raised to this power. Well, remember the property of logarithms, right? The natural log of u to the n becomes n times the natural log of u. That's the property of logarithms we use a lot, right? So this x can come down in front, and I've got x times the natural log of the quantity x plus, uh, x divided by x plus 10. So what's happening is x goes to infinity on this. Well, x is clearly going to infinity. And what's happening to x divided by x plus 10? Well, we just talked about that up here, right? That's going to 1. And the natural log of 1 is 0. So this is approaching 0. Well, what's infinity times 0? Well, it's not determinate. You can't just say it's zero. You can't just say, well, anything times zero is zero. Remember, this is a limit. We're not ever equal to zero. This expression is getting closer to zero. So it's certainly trying to make the product zero. You know, it's getting closer to zero here. But here's the problem. This thing is not getting close to zero. It's getting big, 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 right? It's multiplying you know, uh, something very small, but it's trying to make it go to infinity. So this x is trying to make it go to infinity. This is trying to make it go to zero. The limit could be infinity, the limit could be zero, or it could be something in between. We've got work to do. Is that L'Hopital rule form? Infinity times zero? No, it's not. So how do we get an infinity times zero form to be L'Hopital rule form? Well, remember what we do. 
since x is going to infinity, um, multiplying by x is the same thing as dividing by the reciprocal. What's the reciprocal of x? 1 over x, right? And what's happening to 1 over x is x goes to infinity. Well, that's going to 0, right? Since x goes to, goes to infinity, it's reciprocal 1 over x goes to 0. And now the top is going to 0, the bottom is going to 0, and guess what? We're in that L'Hopital rule form. So infinity times 0, take one of the functions and divide by the reciprocal. Which function do you take? The easier function generally, right? So x is much simpler than this whole thing. So I'll just do the reciprocal of x, 1 over x, divide by. So this expression here is exactly the same as the other one. I haven't done anything other than rewrite it. But now it's in L'Hopital's rule form. So I'm now notice I'm going to use L'Hopital rule. Notice my limit is still here. Um, the derivative of the top is this, and the derivative of the bottom is this. I did uh, this a little bit separately. When I take the derivative of the top here, um, it's the derivative of respect to x of natural log of x divided by x plus 10. I've got to use the chain rule, right? The outer function is natural log of u, inner function is x divided by x plus 10. So it's 1 over u, where u is this, times the derivative of the inner function u. Well, notice this, 1 divided by this fraction is 1 times the reciprocal of this fraction, which is just back to x plus 10 over x. Right, and that's why I've got x plus 10 over x times what? Well, the derivative with respect to x of this. Well, to take the derivative here, I've got to use quotient rule. Don't forget our quotient rule, right? So that's the derivative of the top of x, which is 1, times the bottom, which is x plus 10, minus uh, the top x times the derivative of the bottom. What's the derivative of x plus 10? 1. All over, don't forget the x plus 10 quantity squared. And that's where I got this from. Now, notice up top here, uh, if you have 1, times x plus 10, that's x plus 10 minus x. The x is canceled, I'm just left with 10. So this all simplifies down just to 10, okay? What's the derivative of the bottom function, one over x? Well, the derivative one over x is the derivative of x to the negative one power, which by the power rule is this, right? Which is negative one divided by x squared. So we've done that one before. And so that's how I'm getting this expression on this expression. Now let's clean this up a little bit. Again, this is just 10, but notice x plus 10 up top. I have two x plus 10 factors in the bottom, just looking at this, this smaller fraction up top. So I can divide top and bottom by x plus 10, right, to simplify it. So up top, I just have 1 times 10, 10, and x times x plus 10. So that greatly it helps to simplify these things right before you go ahead simplify as much as you can um, all over negative one over x squared okay so this then can be uh, further simplified right this fraction divided by this fraction is this fraction times the reciprocal of this. So one over negative one over x squared is negative x squared over one. And I can now notice these common factors of x. I can divide top and bottom by x, which leaves one x up top. So I'll have now, got to go to page two. That's the long one. Um, the limit as x approaches infinity of 10 times negative x. I'll just write that negative 10x x plus 10 times 1 is just x plus 10. So what's this going to as x goes to infinity? Some of you already know the answer, and that's fine. The, the top is going to negative infinity. The bottom is going to infinity. So we're infinity over infinity form. That's a L'Hopital rule form. So I'm going to use L'Hopital's rule again. Derivative of the top, negative 10x is negative 10. Derivative of the bottom, x plus 10 is just 1. And the limit is negative 10. Some of you knew that already and went right to it, and that's fine. Okay, so that's a lot going on. What have we been doing? I don't even remember where this came from. We'll go all the way back to the beginning. Remember what we're looking at. We're looking at the natural log of y. We've just found the natural log of y. What's y? Y is the limit. So this negative 10 is not the limit we're looking for, but it's the natural log of our limit. All right, so the natural log of y is negative 10, which means y is e to the negative 10 power. So how do we solve a logarithmic equation? We just write it in exponential form, right? Log base y, natural log, which is log base e in this case, of y is negative 10. Well, logarithms are what? The exponent. So the exponent 
on the base, the base here is E, is negative 10. So E to the negative 10 is what Y is, right? You could also think about it this way. If I, since I can, these are both equal, I can write E to the natural log of Y equals E to the negative 10. And what's E to the natural log of Y? Well, it's just Y. That is the value of Y. And remember, Y was our original limit. And therefore, the limit as x approaches infinity of this expression is e to the negative 10, which is the same as 1 over e to the 10th power. That is a number between 0 and 1, as I commented at the beginning of the problem. OK, so a little tricky problem. This is the last problem in this, in this set. So it's a little bit of a challenge, but you can do it. You just need to practice that. Let me know if you have questions about this.